Hi, I'm Josiah. And I'm Colin. And this is Worth Watching. Seriously? Oh, come on! It's awesome! Alright, so the movie we're going to be reviewing tonight is Captain Phillips, starring Tom Hanks. So this movie is based off of true events that happened around the Somali area, where Somali pirates hijack the cargo ship that is just taking supplies over to foreign countries, food, water, etc., things like that. They follow the cargo ship for a few miles, they hijack it, and they take hostage Tom Hanks, who stars as Captain Phillips. They hijack him, they get on one of the boats that they have on reserve in case of an emergency, they start heading back towards Somalia, the U.S. government gets involved, and it's up to them now to get Captain Phillips back peacefully. So what do you think of the film? I really liked it. I liked a lot about the movie. One of the things that really stood out to me in particular was just the acting, all around. I mean, of course, mm -hmm. you know, it's Tom Hanks. So of course, Tom Hanks is really, really... You know, yeah, he really actor, got into his role. Really realistic acting. He just you can feel anything that he's feeling yeah. in the movie. You know, he just well, how sucks about those right Somali in. Somali guys too. Yeah, they were fantastic. I've never seen any of them in anything no. before. You know, they were no name no. actors, but they did a fantastic job. Yeah. Especially the guy playing the lead pirate. I don't know his name. Yeah, I don't but know he who was he is. really, really good. And I hope to see him more stuff because he was just convincing. And his acting did something really special, which I think is. You were able to kind of understand his character and see yeah. from his point of view. So it wasn't just, you know, here are the bad guys and the good guys. You know, you could really kind of... You almost kind of felt a motive, his reasoning for what he was oh, doing. Oh, for sure. You did. Yeah, yeah you, could, you could feel his motive. You could see he that he was in a, a poor, desperate situation. Yeah, he came from a yeah. poor country. His bosses would have killed him if he didn't do this. Yep. So he had reasoning to do it. Yeah, and I mean, of whether course... Whether it was good or wrong. Yeah, and, and a good part of that came from the writers, of course. It was exactly. a little well-written movie, but also... The actor portraying him did a fantastic job, made him a very sympathetic villain. They really did. I really like the intensity of the movie. I was on edge the whole yeah. time, like, oh my gosh, what is next? Yeah, my legs were just sore after the movie, because they were just clench, unclench, clench, unclench. Yeah, I mean, obviously movie. you know what's going to happen at the end, but it, right. it's still, I don't know. It, right, they didn't and, really I, and that's that. a challenge with a movie like this, is when it's based on a true story, you mm -hmm. know it has a happy resolution to keep you on the edge of your seat through the whole they movie. They did. They yeah. did. I mean, it's just yelling, screaming, guns pointing at other people's yeah, heads. Yeah, it's just intense. The whole really thing gritty, deep, and intense. And the movie is, of course, directed by Paul Greengrass. And I'm a really big Paul Greengrass fan. I know some people aren't fond of his mm -hmm. style, but I like his style, and I think he's one of the only people who can really do sort of that shaky cam documentary-looking style and make it really artistic and make it fun to watch. You do um, definitely have a point there. You didn't yeah. get all, like, you know, kind of lightheaded, like, yeah, oh my gosh, this sick. is too... Yeah. You know, no, I liked it. Yeah, I thought, yeah, it just sucks you in and makes you feel like you're there rather than just giving yeah. you a headache. So as far as dislikes go, I don't have any. Yeah, I really don't either. Not really. No, not at all. The movie was just great throughout. I guess you could say that this could be a dislike. The pacing did seem a little bit long. Right, it was almost two and a half hours. Yeah, but there was a reasoning for it. You had to have a long, drawn-out process because, I mean, negotiation situations, that's not right. a quick, easy Yeah, you're fix. dealing with, you know, a kidnapping negotiations and things like and that. And obviously they were telling the storyline right. of the whole... Right, and so making it kind of thing feel almost dragged on you, kind of yeah. feel like you're there in, yeah. the, in even, the moment. Even though I'd like to say the pacing was slow... It had to be slow, yeah, so it's, it's served I, can't, a good purpose. I can't dislike that. So For other sure. than that, no, I have no dislikes. That movie yeah. was great. I thought it was fantastic, yeah. So I think you already pretty much summed it up, but what would you give the movie on a rating? I'd give it an A. I really liked it. Yeah, I would have to give it an A, too. I yeah. mean, the acting was fantastic. Uh, you know, obviously, amazing true story that it's based on. Yeah. Really good cinematography, really great casting. Mm -hmm. uh, paced really well overall. Um, just really intense, really yeah. gritty, great movie, and I thought it did a fantastic job of trying to convey what it was. I did too. Go out in the theaters and go see it for yourselves. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth watching. All right. All right, we'll see, we you, next see you next week. Have a good night.